Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Gaming on Caffeine. My name is Isaac, and we are back playing some Feed the Beast Horizons Daybreaker for episode two. Now, since the end of last episode, I've made a few changes to the base. Uh, first of all, I've added a survivalist generator to our setup here, so we now have two of them uh, instead of just the one. These things produce five redstone flux per take, which is a really, really small amount of power and not really anywhere near enough to power both of these machines. Uh, if we look right now, you can see this one's backing up on power because it's not doing anything right now. Uh, it's waiting for this guy to finish in order to move the gold over, and then it can start doing the uh, osmium. But this is taking forever. Look at this. Look how slowly this thing is smelting one piece of silver dust into a silver ingot. This machine is really slow. So even though we now have two of these, they are still really slow. Uh, but they are working. They are slowly going through and turning all the stuff into ingots, which is nice. Uh, I did go mining since the end of last episode. We now have quite a bit more stuff. We got some more diamonds. We found one emerald, which is quite nice. We got some lapis, some more redstone, all that kind of good stuff. But what I want to work on today is something that is probably going to wipe out all of our valuable resources. It's going to be really expensive, but hopefully once it's done, it's going to be really cool. And that is Equivalent Exchange. Now, Equivalent Exchange 3, as it stands, is currently a work-in-progress mod. And you see here it says Minium Stone and the bracket work-in-progress. Um, and the most of the stuff doesn't work. Like, the Minium Stone doesn't work. You can make it, but then you can't use it for anything apart from making ash, which is not very good because you can make ash using things like raw pork chops and cobblestone, of all things. So the Minium Stone right now is kind of useless, uh, as is a few of the other things. But there has been an add-on mod created, and one that is in this pack, called Simple Condensers, which is actually really cool. And what I would like to do today is I would like to try and get us at least the first tier, uh, this one here, the Verdant Condenser. There are two more tiers, which I'll, I'll kind of explain what they do towards the end of the episode once we get this guy. But this is what we're going to work towards today. Now, in order to get this, we need to put a Gelidon? A gelatin star, as well as eight Verdant Dust into an Aludal and give it some fuel of some kind. This is going to take a while, and this is going to be really, really expensive. So, the first thing I'm going to do is jump back over to Equivalent Exchange over here. And basically, the first thing we're going to make is these items uh, at the top left here. We're going to make a calcinator and a noodle base. We're going to make the glass bell, and we're going to make the research table. Thankfully, all of these are actually really easy to make. All they take is some iron and some stone. And if you remember correctly, we made some stone in the last episode. So, we should be set. We'll take you. We'll take you. We'll take the glass bell if we get ourselves a little bit more glass, which I guess we can do in there. Uh, do we have any spare lying around? I could have sworn we had some extra at the end of last episode, but that's fine. And we'll also grab the research table like so. Now, these are all required in order to start with Equivalent Exchange 3. And these are some of the only items that do actually work in Equivalent Exchange 3 right now. But we'll put all these down. And in order for the Aludal to actually work, you do need the bell on it. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. It sounds like a, an, a, a weird word. The Aludal? Aludal base? I, pfft, sure, why not? Um, we'll take the silly... Oh, whoa, what? Oh. 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 What? What? <laughs> Did they change stuff since... The pack has updated since last time we played this. Last time we played this, you could make glass by smelting sand. It would seem... Wait, no, it says there we can... Sand equals glass. What? What? <laughs> Let's try that again. Does this get as silicon or does this get as... Glass? I'm not quite sure if that's a bug or not. I hope it's not, because I would very much like to get glass for my sand. Let's try putting it in here. That might have been the best idea, because this thing is really, really slow, but hopefully this gets us glass. If it doesn't, I have no idea how we're supposed to get that. That seems like a really weird choice um, to try and change it up so that we have to use uh, either red... It says there's sand, but then again, it's the second one in the options, so I think most of the time it's not going to do it. We're almost there. It made silicon. What the heck? Okay, so a little while later, I went ahead and backdated the mod pack, so we're now playing on the older version, version 1.0.0, for anyone who is wondering. And this now works. We can now get glass. Uh, I will update again at some point, but I kind of need glass uh, for this episode. So let's go ahead and do something like this. Get ourselves the glass bell. And if we go ahead and stick this on top of the Aludal base, we can now access it, and it now has this nice little interface. So... What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go over to the simple condensers, and we're kind of going to work backwards from here to see what we need. So, 
The first thing we're going to need is eight of this verdant dust. Now, in Equivalent Exchange 3, there are three types of dust. I'm going to jump back over again to Equivalent Exchange 3 here. Uh, if we look at this, there are three types of dust. There is verdant dust, azure dust, and minium dust. And they're kind of the three tiers, verdant being the lowest, azure being the medium, and then minium being the highest tier of dust. Verdant is made in a calcinator. We obviously need fuel. And then any item that you put in here, if it has an EMC of between 64 and 2048, it will generate the verdant dust. Uh, ash, I guess, is also a dust, but it's not called a dust. So ash is made from 0 to 64. This one is 64 to 2048. Uh, the blue one is either made using 32 verdant dust and some ash, or using any item from 2048 up to 8192, uh, that being the diamond there at the top. And then minium is made using either four of the previous tier or anything with an, an EMC of 8192 upwards. Uh, if you do put something that has an EMC of 8192 in, I believe you get minium dust. Uh, I, that probably should say 8191 because I'm fairly certain 8192 gets you minium. So uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's right. So we're going to start. We're going to get ourselves eight of these. And to do that, we just need something between 64 and one, uh, 2000. Now, unfortunately, we don't have too many of those. I think Lapis is the only one we have. So let's take Lapis. Let's take eight of those. And let's stick it into the calcinator. We'll also stick in some fuel. And that should... Oh, no, wait. We're in the wrong one. This needs to be done uh, in the calcinator, not in the Aludal. Although we will get to the Aludal at some point. Uh, the, 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 the graphic there is a little bit off, but that's fine. Uh, let's go back over to Simple Condensers. Now, the next thing we're going to need is this guy here, the Gelatin Star. And there's actually no recipe for this. You have to press Shift. And it says, make a 3x3x3 structure with ash-infused stone with, a, uh, with ash -infused stone with a large alchemical chest in the center. Right-click the center of any side with a Suri Star and 8 medium dust in your person. Uh, and then you will, you'll get this star. So we need a bunch of ash-infused stone. What do we need? We need 9, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, maybe? I think we need 26. Yeah, we need 26 action fuse stone, as well as the Suri Star and 8 Minium Dust. Minium Dust being the highest tier of dust, requiring pretty much 8 diamonds in order for us to get it. So, we're going to give up 8 diamonds for it. Uh, we do have an emerald as well, which we could use if we so wanted. But we'll take... Uh, actually, we're going to need some more fuel, aren't we? Uh, it might not be a terrible idea... To, uh, to make another one of these, because right now, this thing is not super fast, and it's actually not that expensive, so uh, I will actually go ahead and make another calcinator, just so we can do this uh, twice as fast, it does use a little bit of iron, but really, iron, we don't have a lot of iron, but uh, iron's not all that expensive, we'll put it like here for now, and let's just get the diamonds breaking down into the minium dust, so we'll throw you in there, you can go in there, that's going to get us 8 minium dust, that's going to get us the 32 verdant dust, whilst we're waiting on all that, we do need to make ourselves an alchemical chest bracket large, and this is made using another 8 minium dust and a chest, this is why I said it would be really, really expensive, so, let's get a chest here, uh, we are going to need 8 minium dust from that, as well as 8 more minium dust, now, we have 6 minium dusts worth of EMC here, and then I'm hoping that we can use kind of like blocks of redstone maybe to get to make up the rest. Um, blocks of redstone have an EMC of 2,000. Oh, can you not? The blocks of redstone not have an EMC? Oh, no, they do. 64. Uh, oh, no, they don't. No exchange value. What? <laughs> they have an exchange value of 32. Uh, what we're probably going to have to do is work up the tiers, like make some of the base dust, move up, make some of the azure dust, and then move up and make some of the minium dust. It's going to be pretty expensive, and it's probably going to be pretty long as well, looking at how slow this stuff is going. But we should be able to get there, and it should be pretty good. So what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to go away. I'm going to wait until we have... Uh, 60 minium dust. I'm going to wait for this to finish. And then I'm going to try and work my way up to 8 more minium dust using everything else that we've got. We can also use gold as well. Gold is pretty high uh, in EMC. But uh, yeah, I'm going to go do that and I'll be back in a second. Okay, so a little while later, I've gone ahead and made yet another calcinator. We now have three of these because these things are unbelievably slow. But what I've gone ahead and done is I've used 16 of our 18 gold to make 16 of this azure dust, which should, if we put it into the calcinator with some ash, which I believe we can get by just throwing cobblestone into a calcinator. So let's try this. This should get us ash. So four of the azure dust, which is the second tier, should get us a minium dust if we combine it with some ash. So what I've gone ahead and done is basically exchanged 16 of our gold for four diamonds worth of minium dust, so aka four minium dust. Uh, and then I've also gone ahead and put four diamonds into this one here. So we now have 12 minium dust in total. And then we should 
be able to combine all this up and actually start to get somewhere. So we'll throw you in there. Uh, once all that is done, we do also need to go ahead and actually put some more fuel in there. Um, also make that chest. We'll, we'll, uh, we'll get to that in a second. Let's... Is that working? Yeah, it's doing fine. Okay, so we need to get that. We also need to get that Suri Star that we were looking at earlier from the uh, the mod Simple Condensers. Now, to make this, we need yet another <laughs> Minium Dust and an Ash Infused Stone. Thankfully, Ash Infused Stone is actually really easy to make. It's just Ash and Stone. However, we are going to need... Uh, first of all, some more ash, but uh, we are going to need um, another piece of minium, which means 8,000 more EMC. Now, we do have one diamond and one emerald left. However, I want to keep at least one of both of those so that if we need to, we can kind of come back and uh, make more of them once we can exchange. Because, actually, I don't think I've mentioned this at all yet, but uh, the, the, the whole point of equivalent exchange is to be able to exchange certain items for certain other items. For example, if you look at this redstone here, the redstone has an EMC of 32. The stack of redstone has an EMC of 2,000. The diamonds we have have an EMC of 8,192. So the idea is once we have all of this stuff set up, we can trade in, say, four stacks of redstone for a diamond, because four stacks of redstone equals about 8,000 e uh, EMC, uh, and it gets the diamond. Or vice versa, we can take a diamond and get four stacks of redstone. It's just the idea of exchanging certain items for other items, which is actually kind of useful, especially when you can exchange things like cobblestone, which we can get for free from other sources like quarries, and we can kind of generate stuff. So it's actually pretty cool. Uh, let's throw that in there. That should get us the last two minium dust that we need. Um, I think we should go ahead and make this guy real quick. That does require the ash infused stone. We should probably look into making another aludal as well, but I'm pretty sure we're out of iron at this point. So uh, there's not really much we can do on that front, uh, apart from kind of wait for this. But this thing is almost done, um, making us the minium. Are these all done? They are. We are going to need more ash, so I'm actually going to go ahead and start making just, like, loads of this stuff. Let's put uh, some cobblestone in there, and let's put some cobblestone in there. That should get us quite a bit of ash, because we do need a lot of ash-infused stone, uh, as we mentioned earlier. But to get this, we just need the one ash-infused stone, which is stone and ash. And I wish there was, like, some way you could speed this up, but it is kind of slow. But once it's done, we'll have the Suri Star. Uh, no, we won't. We'll be able to make the Suri Star by doing this. And this. And then what I'm probably going to do is I need to go away and make 26 more of this uh, ash-infused stone. Uh, we can also go ahead and actually make the um, the large chest here as well if we do this. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Boom, if we throw all this in there. That'll get us the, the large alchemical chest, which you could use as just a normal chest. It is just a big chest uh, at its core. But it's also really useful for making this thing here, the, the gelatin star. Uh, I'll show you here real quick. Look at this. We throw it down. Boom. It's just a, just a big chest. It's bigger than a double chest in one slot. Uh, not really the best item in the world, if you ask me. But it's, it, I don't think it's really worth the price you pay for it. But it's, it's, it's pretty cool, I guess. Uh, anyway, what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to go away. I'm going to make a bunch more of this Ash Infused Stone, 26 to be precise. I'm also going to try and get one more Minium Dust using what we have. Uh, and I'll be back in a second. Okay, so again, quite a while later, I actually had to go mining to get some more diamonds uh, in order to make the last few minium dust, but we now have nine. Uh, we're going to take all of those because we now have more than the, uh, the 26 needed. So, <laughs> all we need to do now is set up our multi-block structure. So, let's do this. It needs to be a 3x3 three three on the bottom. It then needs to be a 3x3 three three with a hollow center on the second layer, and then another full 3x3 three three on the top like so. We can get rid of this guy. Our chemical chest goes in the middle, boom, this goes on the outside, and then we right click with our Suri Star. Boom! <laughs> that gets us the Gelatin Star. So, now we got this guy. What we need to do is we need to make ourselves the simple condenser. Now, uh, we can actually go ahead and do it. Uh, all we need is eight of the Verdant Dust and the Star, and to do that we are actually going to need eight Verdant Dust, which we don't have. Uh, do, 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 64. What do we have that has 64? We need 8, right? We've got leather. That'll get us 2. I can go ahead and throw that in there. Uh, we don't actually have any more lapis. So, as far as lapis goes, we can't really use that either. Um, we could try using some of the previous tiers, but uh, in order to make... Oh, oh, no, wait. We just need verdant? No. Yeah, verdant's the lowest tier. Okay. Um, oh, this could be bad. This could be bad. Spider Eyes is 128. That will count as well. 
We can throw that in there. We're just going to cobble together everything we've got until we get up to uh, up to the 64. These uh, have weirdly 0 0.084. I think the more you use it, the lower it's... Um, actually, that one's got a weird... Oh, no, it doesn't. Uh, I think the uh, the numbers there are weird because of the durability of the items, um, which is kind of interesting, I guess. Uh, do we have anything worth any amount of EMC at all right now? Any ingots? We don't have any iron. None of the modern ingots, uh, none of the modern ingots do. So I guess we're going to go get some more iron. <laughs> I'll be back in a second, guys. Okay, so I did go ahead and actually get some more iron, which is uh, being processed up right now. But it also turns out we can use clay uh, as well that has a, an EMC of 64. And then I also realized that we made this 35 earlier. And I have no idea why we made 35 verdant dust and what the heck we were going to use it for. But now we have like over 40. Let's go ahead and put eight in here. Like so, with our brand new gelatin star. That is going to use up the gelatin star, but it's going to make us this guy here the verdant condenser. Now, we can go ahead and upgrade this at any time to make the next tier one. It just requires 16 uh, azure dust, which is the equivalent of 4 minium dust. And the final one requires 32 minium dust. So it's extremely expensive. Um, and it's only marginally better, really. I'll kind of show you, uh, I'll tell you what it does once I've explained what the first one does. This takes a flipping heck of a long time to finish. Actually, I'm wondering why it's... Oh, there we go. It did finish. It just kind of glitched out a bit there. But we have ourselves this guy, the Verdant Condenser. This thing is awesome. However, we cannot use it until we get ourselves another item from Equivalent Exchange. This guy over here, the Tome of Alchemical Knowledge, which is made with a book and another minion dust. And I'm feeling a bit silly now for using up all our leather, but we are actually surrounded by cows if you look at the minimap. So we should be uh, more than fine to actually go ahead and... Uh, and just do this. Uh, nope, I would like some some leather, please, if you wouldn't mind. That is not leather. Uh, if I could just have a, a single piece of leather. That is all I want. Want There we go. <clears throat> okay. Uh, do we have any sugar cane? That could be another another little issue that we uh, we might run into here in making a book. We don't have tinkers, so we can't make it using the, uh, the string and the blank patterns. So instead, did we get some sugar cane? We didn't. Let's have a look here. Book. Is there an easy way for us to make a book? There is not. We need paper, which is made from sugar canes. Suing it sawdust. But we don't have a precision sawmill. So I'm going to go away again, guys. I'm going to get myself. Uh, I'm going to try and find some sugar cane. I'm going to run back over to the, uh, the known nearby source of water. And I'll be back in a second. Okay, so once we've got ourselves some sugar cane, we can go ahead and get ourselves some paper. We can use that paper to get ourselves a book. And then we can combine that book up with our minium dust to finally get ourselves this guy over here, the Tome of Alchemical Knowledge. And then we should be able to actually go ahead and use this guy over, uh, over here, the condenser. So, let's take this out. The first thing you need to do is bind it to yourself. Just right click and it says you are now the owner of the Tome of Arca uh, Alchemical Knowledge. And then all you have to do from here on out is you have to research each individual item that you want to be able to uh, make more of, I guess. So, for instance, redstone. If we throw some redstone into here, this bar is going to slowly fill up. We're going to see a nice little animation kind of trickle down the, the pages here. And once this is done, we will have researched redstone. It's really easy, really simple. Uh, so, we've now got redstone in here. And now, if we put the tome in the top right, redstone in the top left, we can now put items in these slots here and turn them from whatever they are into redstone. So, for example... Two stacks of cobblestone should get us uh, two pieces of redstone. Cobblestone has a stack, uh, an EMC of one, uh, and redstone has an EMC of 32. So if you put this in here, it should start to work. Now, this level of condenser, the verdant condenser, is really slow. Like, really, really, really slow. One thing we can do to speed it up is it does use all these slots at a time. So we can kind of do this, and it will, like, eat up all of them pretty much instantly if we put them down right. There we go. And that goes to redstone. So we just turned a stack of cobblestone into two redstone, which gives us a nice little use from all the excess cobblestone that we have. We can just stick it in here and get redstone. And we can do that with every single item in the game. And once we get more stuff, we can go ahead and upgrade to the next level condensers with the, uh, the Azure Condenser being the next one up. And then finally, the Minium Condenser, which is much, much faster. Going through things so fast, it is kind of crazy. And hopefully what we can do is we can just get, like, loads of stuff. And, like, if we set up some sort of quarry, we could pump all of the stuff into the, one of these condensers and just basically get unlimited free stuff. So, as I said at the beginning of the episode, this has been really expensive. Uh, hopefully it'll come in useful uh, over the next few episodes here. We can go ahead and do stuff like 
converting um, stuff into iron. For example, if we uh, stick the turn back in there and stick the iron in, that's going to research iron. And as of right now, we don't have that much iron, uh, but we have a lot of redstone. So being able to convert things like redstone into iron and vice versa without any kind of loss uh, in between is pretty cool. We can stick that in there. We can stick some iron in. Like so. And then to be our stack of redstone, we could just do this. And once we finish spreading it out quite nicely, that's going to go ahead and use it all up and make us some iron, which is pretty nice. And again, it's pretty slow at converting the e EMC there. You can see how much energy it's got up here. But we just turned our redstone into eight iron, which is pretty awesome. And we can take that out. And I think it stores the excess EMC for use later if you want to use it on something else. But for now, guys, that is what I'm going to call this episode today. Thanks for watching. If you did enjoy the video, be sure to hit like. And I will see you guys next time for some more Feed the Beast Horizons Daybreaker.